Hi, welcome to my small corner of the internet where I just post what I think is interesting and just stuff that I enjoy. This is my first video doing a voiceover, so if you have any suggestions for improvement, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to incorporate that into my next videos. So let's get started. So I have been into Minecraft for about five, six years on and on, and my favorite part is just the building aspect of it. You can pretty much build anything you want, and so I am kind of obsessed with castles, but not realistic ones. As you can see, I don't think any castle looks like this, but that's fine. So I'm just going to do a walkthrough of what I've built. Right here is this kind of entrance to the castle. I guess you could say that this is the front. I honestly don't know what the front is, but this leads into a little throne room over here. Or not little, it's kind of big, but I wanted to create, you know, the checkered floors because I feel that's what a king would want in his throne room and I'm going to show you the rest later in this video but right now is just this large corridor there's some stairs that go up to the second level and then this door leads right back out to the other side to the front of the throne room right here and then there's this random room in the back because you know I feel like a rich person would have this kind of access in their house you know, for no reason, so I thought I could too. So yeah, the stairs right there, and then we're gonna go up this corridor. And so this door leads to the barracks. It's kind of the bare minimum right now because I just wanted to fill it with something. But as we go up these stairs, we're going to reach the room that's supposed to be the armory, but there's a couple of heads, some armor right there. Um, there's gonna be more, definitely. Probably some more armor stands, some more item frames that I'm gonna add um, to do something. And then just this target range on the top of the building for some reason. So we're going to go back down these stairs and then in a little bit we're going to head back out to that corridor that we came through at first and then we're going to go up the hallway a little bit to this random garden balcony thing that I made because like I said, rich people always have excess in their homes and so that means I can. I can do whatever I want to, pretty much, even if it doesn't look good. And watch me struggle to go down the stairs. Oh, nice. <laughs> now we're just gonna go down this hallway, which is also one of my favorite parts of the castle. One of the little things that I really enjoyed making. And we're gonna, we're in the library right now, obviously, but I, added just the accents of the, what is it, the quartz um, columns to the sides, and I didn't finish that, I guess I didn't like how it looked, um, but I added a bunch of paintings to the wall one day for some reason, but yeah, here's the second floor of the library lit with lanterns just little topography tables, little enchantment tables kind of scattered all around. But now we're gonna head back down this corridor and there's really not much to see on this side. Right now 
I'm walking down the side of the castle. Um, this is supposed to be kind of, I don't know, I guess some kind of defensive wall. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but this goes down into this little courtyard where we'll see just the beginnings of the little smoker area, I guess. And then the beginnings of a forge that I began to make. And then this little dock that leads to the river that's surrounding the castle, which also will eventually lead to the ocean. And now we go through this little hallway one of many hallways that I have built into my castle for no reason other than I liked it. And this little hallway leads to this other courtyard where you see this bridge. It leads into the rest of the city, or at least the upper parts of the city, where you would have the bigger houses and this bathhouse. And here's where, you know, the water would be heated, I guess you could say. I wasn't really quite sure how to make it. I was trying to look up different schematics of Roman bathhouses and kept getting confused. Um, I was a mechanical engineering major, not an architect. So apparently that, I don't know, apparently that means I can't read blueprints or something. But here's the rest of my bathhouse. And I added these polished granite stairs to kind of take up the illusion of being benches because I assumed that, you know, like any swimming pool or public pool or bathhouse, you would want a place to sit down. And so I added those to this wall right here. also to this wall right here and through that door is pretty much just the bathrooms so <laughs> they're not that interesting and I guess I didn't think they were interesting when I recorded this video but through this door is yet another long passageway but what I'm doing here is I'm connecting this to a canal that I built, and this is also going to connect to the docks that are right outside the castle. And so you're gonna see some of that right now. It's not quite finished yet either, because after all, this is only 30 hours worth of work. At 100 hours, it'll probably look way more complete, but. the stairs here and here's one of the docks and then a bridge connecting the other ones and I'm probably gonna add some kind of um, market or some kind of you know just the illusion of some kind of commerce being done but I want this kind of walkway canal to connect to this bridge somehow or maybe somehow creating an aqueduct system to connect to the rest of the town that I'm going to build after I finish this castle. And then here's yet another hallway that I built and it just kind of loops back around to, well here's this room first. I don't know what this room is going to be because I just kind of added it on just just because but yeah and then I added this window um, I don't know if I quite like this window but we'll we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> And 
so these stairs go down into this little azalea garden patch thing that I built. Might get rid of this too. I also might get rid of this floating island that's kind of sitting right here because I don't know how I quite feel about it just sitting there. But I also, I think this is one of my favorite parts of this build is this little greenhouse garden thing. I have just normal path but then also mossy cobblestone accented throughout to make it look more textured. And then also just this little fountain area. And then also another one of my favorite parts of this build is right through the store. It's just this giant kind of lofty hallway with these arched windows. And then this goes up to this random thing, which I am probably going to rebuild as some kind of tower. But through these doors, we go back all the way around to this large corridor, but we go down this hallway and we come to the kitchens. It's kind of the bare minimum at this point, but here's also the storage room. A bunch of barrels and stuff for the large copious amounts of wine that I assume that kings and lords drink during their, their parties and their functions or whatever. this staircase which I made myself kind of dizzy going up so I'm sorry if I made you dizzy too but you know in the fashion of the Winchester Mystery House there's a hallway that just leads to nowhere there's really nothing much to see there but you go through this door and here are just some quarters for you know the servants there's not a lot of space, especially I feel like in a castle this size, you would have way more servants. And also I don't know what that random alcove in the wall was, but I could also add more beds in here too, so it's not really a big deal. I was also thinking of adding a window, but you're gonna see there's, there's just rock wall. Servants don't get windows, or sunlight apparently. But, you know, no matter. We're gonna go up the stairs again. And then... That thing. And then the second story that those other stairs led up to, there's really nothing going on up here either yet. But here's the second story of the throne room. And then a little feature that I really liked building was those chandeliers. doing but <clears throat> and then through here is the staircase that leads to those really tall towers or those really I don't know tall stories floors whatever you want to call them but they lead to those really large rooms and I thought it was cool at first that I had large rooms, but then I realized that the problem with large rooms is that you actually had to fill the large rooms. And I don't know how to do that because I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of like mid at building.
this passageway, I was thinking of building some kind of lounge area or some kind of smaller library. And then we go across the room and then I was thinking possibly a smaller dining room, relatively smaller, you know, compared to the other one, but, you know, because royals, I guess, don't walk down the stairs all that much. I feel like they would just stay upstairs and do all of their stuff just upstairs. You know, they don't interact with the commoners, maybe. I don't really know how royalty works. I'm from America. And we don't have kings or queens, so... But yeah, and then here is this rooftop garden that I have just started building, and I'm really excited for how it's going to turn out. I don't quite know what I'm doing yet, but I just like making things look pretty, so I'm really excited. But that was my 30-hour build. And I'm probably gonna give more updates as I keep building onto this because it's definitely far from being finished. But like I said at the beginning, this is my first video where I've done a voiceover and so I probably sound very awkward, a little bit nervous, but if you have any advice or constructive criticism, just drop a comment and let me know. But thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!